Every year, around 100,000 tons of rubbish are incinerated at the local authorities' Association for Waste Management of the Grissons, or GAVAC for short, at 1,000 degrees Celsius. Burning is only one component of this disposal process, however, as energy recovery and recycling also play a major role. All our consumer goods are made from raw materials and with energy. Once they have served their purpose, they are disposed of or recycled. The local authorities association for waste management in the Grissons plays a key role in this respect. Every resident of the Grissons produces approximately 350 kilograms of waste each year. This waste is transported in communal collection vehicles and by rail to Gevak in Trimis and unloaded at the waste bunker. Here we see the waste bunker. All the waste is dumped into it, where it is temporarily stored and prepared prior to incineration. The different types of waste, such as wood, paper and others, have to be mixed well by the crane installation. This is very important, so we achieve a uniform calorific value, which in turn enables continuous fire control. This is because plastic, for example, generates far more energy when burnt than wood. The waste passes through funnels and into one of the two incinerators. Without adding fuel oil and only by supplying air, the waste is incinerated at a temperature of around 1,000 degrees. The incineration reduces the quantity of waste by up to 80% and the volume by as much as 93%. Why waste actually has to be incinerated is a good question. In addition to reducing the quantity and volume, sanitation is very important, which means causes of ill health in the waste are destroyed. If waste were to be put in landfills instead of incinerating it, it would produce climate-damaging methane gas. This is more than 20 times more harmful than CO2. We use the heat generated by incineration to produce electricity and for district heating for the city of Kor and the Landquart area. Energy from waste. And this is how it works. The heat of the fire converts water in the boiler into 400 degree hot steam at a pressure of 40 bar. This is fed into a turbine, which in turn drives a power generator. Electrical current is produced. Around 16,000 households can be supplied with energy, which corresponds to 3.5% of the entire power requirements for the Grissons. Some of the steam is removed from the turbine and supplied to the paper factory in nearby Landquart via a district heating line. The factory uses the thermal energy to manufacture security paper for banknotes or passports, for example, and saves approximately 6 million litres of fuel each year. In addition, the forum at Ried, the secondary school and the greenhouses of a large garden centre in Landquart are supplied with energy from the waste incineration plant. The city of Kor is also supplied with district heat, including the Grissons Canton Hospital. This service will be further expanded in years to come. Kevak is a major energy producer for the Canton of Grissons. With its production of around 50 gigawatt hours, it is one of the largest energy producers in the Canton. Thanks to the district heating supply of Landquart and Kor, around 10 million litres of fuel are saved each year. This sensible use of available waste heat supports the federal and canton energy policy. Thanks to the latest environmental technology and highly trained staff, the waste incineration plant in Trimis is among the most ecologically friendly in all of Europe. Flue gas cleaning, for example, is a highly efficient five-stage process. It ensures that the emission rates are well below Switzerland's strict limits.
After incineration, dust is removed from the flue gases using an electric filter. The various subsequent flue gas scrubber stages are carried out with water with different pH values. This enables the removal of harmful substances such as sulfur, acids and heavy metals from the flue gases. A catalytic converter system eliminates dioxins and nitrogen oxides. The water used for cleaning undergoes an intensive and complex process to remove heavy metals, acids and sulfur. The acids separated by means of this process are used to treat the previously deposited filter dust containing heavy metals. In this washing process, the heavy metals are dissolved and can be recycled in concentrated form. This applies mainly to zinc. The washed dust can be deposited at the landfill along with any combustion residues. In the command room, the nerve center of the plant, the data are collected and evaluated by the process control system. The plant is controlled on this basis. At the Trimis waste incineration plant, we measure various exhaust components. These include, for example, hydrochloric acid, sulfur, and much more. Readings fall well below the limits set by the Swiss Clean Air Act. We see this in our online measurement. Sulfur dioxide, limit 50 milligrams, actual rate 2.8. Hydrochloric acid, limit 20 milligrams, actual rate 0.1. The data are sent every month to the Office for Nature and Environment of the Grissons in Corps. Our task is to check whether these measurements comply with all emission limits. As well as the exhaust air, the quality of the wastewater and the slag must also be checked. In addition, we also ensure that a comprehensive emissions measurement is carried out every three years by a neutral measuring institute. After the combustion process, the combustion residues, also known as slag, fall from the grate into a water bath, where they are cooled and then taken to a treatment plant. At the treatment plant, using filters, magnets and Wurler-type separators, around 1,500 tonnes of iron parts, 200 tonnes of non-ferrous metals and around 100 tonnes of special metals are separated and sent for recycling each year. This completes a major material flow process so that new goods can be manufactured. Human beings will continue to produce waste in future and the need for energy will continue to rise. Gavark makes a major contribution to using our limited resources sustainably. It operates a multifunctional plant which works at the highest level in terms of safety, environmental compatibility, energy use, resource recovery and economy. This is how Gavak fulfills its purpose ideally in the cycle of consumer goods.